Hi everyone, Jeff here with the Zendesk Customer Success Team. And today we're talking about account configuration and in particular, how to easily analyze your business rules with the aptly titled feature, Rule Analysis. Rule analysis, in my experience as a customer success manager at Zendesk, is perhaps one of the most overlooked but most powerful feature within Zendesk support at the enterprise plan level, especially from the perspective of a busy Zendesk admin. Located in your business rules section in the settings panel within Zendesk, rule analysis is an enterprise level feature that provides admins with a bird's eye view of their business rules based on ticket properties being utilized. As we can see in the GIF here, we can see actions such as group assignment or email group. If we click on one of these options, we can see each business rule that affects one of these ticket properties. Rule analysis can be used in a variety of scenarios, but the commonality of all these scenarios and the inherent usefulness of this feature is to be able to monitor downstream business rule effects without manually inspecting each business rule. As we well know, as Zendesk administrators, business rules rarely follow in a direct line of progression, but work more in an interconnected format, especially as your use of Zendesk becomes more mature and complex. So what are some of the common scenarios in which an admin might leverage rule analysis? One of the most common scenarios we see is in the onboarding or offboarding of agents. When a new agent joins the team or leaves the team, especially if that team member works in a specialized function or handles a select ticket type, it becomes extremely important to revise any business rules that affect this agent to ensure as little disruption for your end users in getting their issues resolved. The next most common use of the rule analysis feature is when establishing a new workflow or adding a new team to Zendesk. So let's say you have an internal HR-based use case and the compensation team is also going to be joining your instance. Perhaps previously, frontline HR reps might have been fielding and forwarding compensation requests via email. But now that the compensation team is part of Zendesk, we want to make sure we're able to separate and ensure that tickets meant for the compensation team are routed to the compensation team without disruption to your frontline HR reps. Identifying and evaluating these business rules will become extremely important to ensure a smooth addition and alteration of workflows for both existing and new agent teams. Another common use is around management of tags. We all use them, we all love them, but they can be extremely difficult and time consuming to keep track of. And multiple business rules could rely heavily on proper tag recognition to fire. Utilizing rule analysis can help make this potential rabbit hole investigation much, much easier. For more info on working with business rules and everything else Zendesk, be sure to check out our own help center at support.zendesk.com. This is Jeff with Zendesk from Home. See you next time.